welcome back to my channel. Today I'm the stick figure, totally not a salmon or a ripoff thing, and I've come bearing this deal for your enjoyment. Now, while my fist claim this was a school project, I intend this to be a good old classic fun educational romp. So lay back, pop open a hopefully non-alcoholic drink, and join me explain to you why your fragile man flesh can easily be rendered to clean off your bones out there in the road with this little known problem. Do you know what the biggest problem out there in the road is? That's right, it's alcohol. Bones. It's bones. But they are up and used to finding new ways to kill themselves, dumbly race, is alcohol. Among other things, like consuming cleaning products that look just like delicious little mochi, and literally just sticking metal in atlas with a fun of 10 million volts running through your body. Wow, shocking. Also, quite sadly, drinking has to be a substance that isn't just used by depressed people in the 40s who had just gone through a divorce and lost custody of the kids, but it's also used by kids looking to quench their thirst in a two-ton metal killing machine that kills the driver, and other motorists alike. Fun! Now, I know what those of you younger than the eyes who've had a sip of wine or beer in the car are saying. I don't have a problem with drinking. Frankly, I'm quite good at it. Man, I'm so quirky for making this my personality. And what I say to those people is, Huh? Now, to the rest of you who aren't underage alcoholics and think with a brain, you should be extremely careful if you have a little sip of the good stuff, you know what I mean, on the roads. This is because in 2019 alone, you know, only like 10,142 people died from drinking and driving, which is only like 30% of all crash-related deaths in the world. I'll just say, <clears throat> you know, it's just a tad bit more than a tilly wink of dead people. And the amount of non-fatal energy was... Too hard for me to find. Like, seriously, there's like nothing on injuries from car crashes. I looked it up. They, they Google hates us, I guess. They don't want us to know who's injured, just who died. Now, because of the totally compassionate person I am, it has inspired me- <coughs> Totally not, because I'm doing this for an assignment. <laughs> uh, huh. There must be, like, dust in the room recording in. But what I was saying is that it was the unfortunate deaths that caused these drinking and driving cases to make me want to teach you guys why you shouldn't drink and drive. Now, I know, you're a precious little cherub who would never even look at a bottle of alcohol. Not even thinking about drinking it. But what you have to remember is the guy sitting next to you might not be a totally real cherub you are. So while this video may not exactly be for you, you should still listen because the guy next to you might be a psychopathic serial drinker who you should avoid at all costs on the road, lest you let you enjoy the pleasant feeling of steel running through your gut and making your pudding of your insides. Mmm, human pudding. Ah, uh, I'm just kidding. It's actually much more likely that six of the people in this room are going to be two times over the legal limit for driving at some point in their life. No, like, I'm not even kidding. You can, you can look this up. There's, like, link on screen and everything. See it right here? My hand's pointing at it. Probably. Uh, I'll also put it in the description because you can't actually click that. This is a video, you dum dum. But, of course, if listening to facts and saying how deadly these crashes are aren't really worth the smack in this modern society. Because knowing your feeble teen brains, they can about handle about five seconds worth of information before they break down and decide to go back on their phones. Like, for example, there's probably some guy on the right side of the room playing with the current today paying attention. Because that piece of folding fabric really is more important than their own life. But, you know, I have to find a way to spice this up anyways, just so I can try and regain their attention. You know, it'll probably fail. And what I've come up with is a kid's cartoon. Yes, a kid's cartoon for teenagers. As wacky as it sounds, it's probably going to work. But, you know, obviously not stupid enough to think that I'm going to get paid for this. Right? So I actually enlisted the help of somebody else. It's the local town drunk and homeless guy, Lil Jimmy. Now, Lil Jimmy is a severe and crippled alcoholic with a problem that might take years of therapy and rehab to ever recover. So, you know, instead of doing that, we paid five bucks to gather his hobo friends up and crash this car in a movie we call Lil Jimmy's Big Slip Up. Enjoy. Wow, that was like so cool and awesome. My, my favorite part was when I didn't have to pay for it to drunk. Because I has no monies. You said it, buddy. <coughs> oh, wow, we are way too drunk. Well, me and Steve are going to walk home. No sense of dying in a car crash since we definitely can't drive. What? Nah. Walking's with chumps anyways. I'm just going to go home and walk down the street in my car and pray to peace as I get home. Uh, I don't know, little Jimmy. That seems like a, a god-awful idea. I mean, I'm pretty sure even my little brother, uncle, dad had better ideas, and he's like a family dog. Sh shut up, but by your confusing family, and let me get in the car. I think I see snakes come to the ground, and I don't particularly like them. 
Are, are you really sure you want to use little Jimmy? There's nothing wrong with hoofing at home or calling a friend or Uber. Yeah, shut up, Steve, with your weirdly confident argument. My feet hurt and I got two bucks on the ride to me. Just, just trust me, I can make it my house in like two seconds. If you die, I'm taking those two bucks you got on you. Sure, but fat chance that's gonna happen, bub. Man, what do those people know about driving Annie's ways? I'm, I'm the one with the car and the license given to me by the government. Now, see how easy it was for Lil Jimmy to die there? And don't forget that even though this is a weird video animation hybrid thing, this could still very like to have to you if you drink. Honestly, I really have to tone this down because unfortunately it turns out drawing and displaying a realistic mutilated body from a car crash is just a bit against the rules of a school, so this is the best we're getting. And honestly, this is horrifying because, like, look at him. Poor guy, like, his face is all messed up. He's got, like, an arm broken. So yeah, I was going to end up like this little gremlin. I would, I would not drink and drive.